In this tutorial, we will do object recognition with Jetson Orin Nano and a RealSense camera using YOLO V8. Whereas old Jetson Nano works only with Jetpack 4.6, new Jetson Orin Nano works with Jetpack 5.1. Which means that we can use newer versions of various libraries and tools. Also, Orin Nano is much faster, so it can be applied to broader variety of applications. This is the first video in this channel in which Jetson or in Nano makes appearance. So, let's see some of its specifications and compare it to the previous model. The first difference is GPU. Jetson Nano used Maxwell architecture. But in Orin, Ampere architecture is used. By using smaller transistors, significantly more transistors are packed into a smaller area than before allowing to increase computation speed dramatically. Compared to the previous model, or Nano can handle some problems dozens of times faster. The number of CPU is also increased from 4 to 6 delivering nearly 7 times the performance of the Jetson Nano. The memory is doubled in or Nano. This allows to run multiple applications at the same time. Due to upgrade of GPU and CPU performance, power consumption is increased for 1.5 times. This could be a problem for small robots with limited battery space or flying mechanisms with strict weight limitations. In Orin Nano, input voltage lies between 7 and 20 voltages. This means that we can use for power supply 3 cell or 4 cell lithium polymer batteries directly. Orin Nano comes with a pre-installed cooling fan. Nevertheless, the height is the same as in the older model, so this may help in design. Now let's install required libraries and packages to run YOLO V8. Firstly, install Python 3 pip. PIP is a package management system used to install and manage software packages written in Python. Next, update Python Date Util Library. The Date Util module provides powerful extensions to the standard date time module, available in Python. Now install the Ultralytics library. Ultralytics requires a lot of other libraries, but all the required libraries will be installed just with this one command. This command installs Torch in Torch Vision. But for Jetson, we need a Torch version that was built for ARM Arch 64 architecture. So, uninstall Torch in Torch Vision. Move to the Installing Pi Torch for Jetson platform page. Here we can find instructions for PyTorch installation. Move to the prerequisites and installation section. Firstly, copy and execute this command. Then, copy and execute the second line. In the second line we install all required Ubuntu packages for PyTorch. Using this line, we are creating an environment variable. This is an example for Jetpack version 5.1.1, but we are using Jetpack version 5.1.2. So, we need to find out what version of PyTorch is suitable for us. To do this, Copy this part of the link and move to the page. Here, click on the Jetpack version you are using. Select PyTorch. This is the version of PyTorch we need. Now we can create the environment variable. Be careful not to misspell the link name.
Finally, we have to execute this line. But we don't need to execute all commands in this line, so we will execute the necessary commands partially. We have already installed NumPy and SciPy, so copy this part and execute it. Next, create an LD library path environmental variable. Dynamic Linker uses LD library path for finding shared libraries before loading them to the address space of the process. Upgrade the Protobaf package. Protobaf stands for Protocol Buffers. Protocol buffers are language neutral, platform neutral extensible mechanisms for serializing structured data. Install PyTorch. Now we are going to install Torch Vision. The installation process is written in this page. Click on the triangle placed next to the installation sentence. Firstly, install the required libraries. Clone Torch Vision version 0.16. Even though this version is not on the list, it should exist in the GitHub. Note that you have to replace the version strings to actual version number you want to install. Move to the Torch Vision directory. In this line build version variable is set to 0 0.16. By executing this command, Torch Vision build will begin. We have successfully installed Torch Vision. Now we are going to install LibRealSense. Go to this page. Clone this repository. Move to install LibRealSense directory. Before executing the build LibRealSense shell script, we need to do one modification to avoid error during building process. Go to the install RealSense folder. Open the build LibRealSense shell script. At line 135, add this argument. This argument helps compiler find where Python executable is located. Now execute the build lib real sense shell script. Note that memory amount is increased in the Orin Nano, so we can set the jobs argument to 2 to accelerate building process. Even though it is written that the library has been installed in the user local lib directory, actually it is installed here. This problem is explained in this issue, but it seems there is no solution at this moment. So, move to the home directory. Open the bash rc file. Move to the bottom of this file. In this line, change lib to off. Open a new terminal. Execute the source commands to execute changes we made to the bash rc file. Now we can import the pyrealsense2 library successfully. Now let's see the code. Please download the YOLO v8 RS zip file from Google Drive and extract it to your home directory. Open YOLO v8 RS Pi script. Here, image size, format and frame rate are defined. Pipeline start means that we start pipeline streaming with configuration we set in the above line. 
The alignment utility performs per pixel geometric transformation based on the depth data. In these lines we define YOLO model. In this line program waits until a new set of frames becomes available. The frame set includes time synchronized frames of each enabled stream in the pipeline. Here we get aligned frames from RGB and depth camera. In these lines, obtained frames are converted to a NumPy array. In this line we are converting depth image to color image to add colored bounding boxes later. Here, inference is done. In this part we are converting the obtained bounding box coordinates from tensor to NumPy array format. In this line, we obtain index of detected class. Here, we draw a rectangle on a depth color map, and, in this part, we put a text upon rectangle. In this line we obtain inference result image from YOLO. Finally, in these lines we create windows with results. To execute the code, open a terminal and move to YOLO v8 rs directory. Execute YOLO v8 rs pi script. After a while, two windows with inference results will appear.